Do you ever feel like no matter how hard you try to keep everything nice and organized and put up and where it's supposed to go and keep the trash thrown away, stuff off the floor, doesn't matter how much cleaning or organized you do, I feel like my shop just always ends up looking like this. I'm sure you guys would agree that I am due for a good old fashioned shop cleaning really soon. Welcome back to another video, folks. So glad to have you here on the channel today. Hopefully you guys had an amazing Christmas holiday. Hopefully you got everything you wanted. Hopefully you folks found a way to get on the nice list and not on the naughty list. I'm not sure if I was on the nice list, but I ended up with a pretty sweet boat for my early Christmas present. I'm sure you guys have seen the new video by now featuring the new boat the Green Goblin. I just made Green Goblin up on the spot, but that might be the winner. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Speaking of Green Goblin being the name of this boat, somebody comment down below if Green Goblin is definitely the name to go with, and all you guys go like that comment, if that is in fact gonna be the name of this boat. I think it should be. Speaking of Christmas, as you guys can tell, sitting on top of the Green Goblin is another Christmas present of mine this year. Good God. That is a lot of stuff. I'm telling you guys right now, this will be the largest unboxing video I have ever done on the channel to date. And I've done some pretty big ones before. There's also going to be a pretty sizable giveaway in today's video, so just keep watching and watch carefully. What's up, buddy? What's going on, man? What's your vote for Green Goblin? Dude, I'm a big fan. It literally looks like a Green Goblin. So all of the packages you guys see here, I mean, literally, tons, literal tons of fishing gear. All of this stuff is going to be for the 2024 fishing season. I mentioned in this new boat video that you guys just saw all the different trips that we're hopefully gonna be making in 2024. New fishing locations, new fish species in some cases. And this boat's gonna be in the center of that, but I needed a lot more tackle. Say to yourself, Lojo, how in the world do you need more tackle? Just because you have a lot of tackle doesn't mean that you have everything you need, Andrew, okay? I've even got the project boat acting as a storage. Haven't done an unboxing video in a long time, so hopefully you guys are as excited as I am to open all of these boxes, go through all this stuff. We're gonna try to not make it boring. Then we're gonna head down to the backyard pond in a little bit. We're gonna put some of these new rods together with some reels, with some lures that go with those setups. We're gonna go put those to the test in the backyard pond, see if we can pull a big old bass out of there. As always guys, you should know all of this stuff, everything you're gonna see today can be purchased by you guys at guggensquad.com. And if you're gonna purchase anything from there, make sure you use my creative code, Lojo, that gives you 10% off your order. I guess I'm gonna start with one of the smaller boxes here. And I just wanna kinda rip through. When you order this much stuff at one time, I'm gonna be honest with you, uh, I kinda forgot some of the things that I may have ordered. It's fair. Okay, we've got some apparel here. Wow, who thought we were gonna to start with some apparel. Oh my gosh, we got all kinds of stuff. Oh boy, okay. We got tackle boxes, ton of tackle boxes. I think I got like three or four of like every size we make. Money bags right there, but geez, where am I gonna put all this stuff, dude? This is about to be a disaster. This is gonna look like Christmas morning when this is all done. Bigger tackle boxes, I got a bunch of those. As you can see, this is like a, almost like a, a terminal tackle size, or even like a small micro crankbait or something like that, or like a finesse box. And then you got like a bigger box. You could put your hard baits in, top water, or just another bigger terminal tackle box. These are those awesome ones that have the one big clamp on the front. It's one thing and you're in there. Love that. Super heavy duty. It's got that heavy duty feel to it. I was just about to say nothing, <laughs> nothing rattles loose. But I mean, honestly, like look, it's freaking solid, except for that one. These things are awesome. Oh no, my terminal tackle is busted open. Oh no. What in the world? Well, this is uh, one of those newer products right there. This is like the underspin with the blade right there, the screw lock, the weighted hook. Awesome little swim bait jig head that we have. I'm guessing it came out of a package that looks like that. So this whole box is just filled with different, ow, that's a sharp hook. This whole box is just filled with the Guggen Green Terminal Tackle. So just a bunch of different kinds of hooks, weedless wacky hooks, Texas rig hooks, hooks. I mean, you know, I don't know how much more there is to say, but literally every kind of hook that you would want is in there. The money bags obviously put Pretty self-explanatory. This is an awesome soft bait storage, or really just a storage for anything, but got these super durable bags. They're really hard to open the first time. 
super durable. In fact, they're so durable. When I first laid hands on the first money bag ever in my life at Guggen HQ, Flair literally handed it to me and he was like, try to riff that. And I was like, okay. And I was like, God. They're tough, man. You cannot rip them. I'm telling you right now. Whew. Almost got my blood pressure up right there. <laughs> so yeah, I got a bunch of money bags. I got, there's two different sizes. There's bigger ones. Yeah, there's a bigger one right there. There's a regular one. And then there's this big daddy right here. It's basically just double the size. So I got a few of those as well. That way we can keep all of our Guggen baits and other soft plastics dry and secure and organized. And we got some new apparel. I'm not even sure I knew that any of these shirts existed before today. A little sun shirt. Definitely never seen this before, ever. I like that. This is like a Team Guggen shirt. Does that look like an XL to you? I don't know, man. It's oh. a little small for an XL, man. I don't know if that's gonna cover up the old tum tum right there. I don't know, your little tummy. But yeah, if you're a Team Guggen member, you can get access to stuff like that. I think this one's a Team Guggen like gold member shirt that you man. can only get if you're a, like a member, which apparently I'm not because I had to pay for it. Boom, I actually like that one a lot. Yeah, that's, that one's nice. That's kind of sick. It's got the hood. You know, I love the hooded long sleeve performance shirts because then when it's super sunny, you just yep. pop that thing like halfway up, covers your ears, covers your neck. You don't have to put sunscreen all over yourself. Love that, that's pretty sick. And then just another random shirt. Let's not pull out all the apparel, shall we? Wow, that was only one box. And I feel like we barely even scratched the surface here. Let's go for a bigger box. Let's, let's lighten things up a little bit. Seems like it has weight to it. Dude, that thing weighs. 30 pounds, no. holy moly. No way. Yeah, I may have gotten a little carried away. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you're gonna wanna come in tight on that. Yeah, that's what we like to see. Oh. Look at that. Just some heavenly music playing when you order that. Yeah. This is 30 pounds of bait, okay? And there are still more boxes. Let that sink in, that 30 pounds. Obviously, there's a lot of things going on in this box. I mean, let me just sit down. Where do you even start? It looks like there's just a bunch of different things. I got all the green hooks that I showed you guys, but they also make the gold series, which is a higher quality hook. Got a bunch of terminal like that. I'm just gonna start grabbing here, just talking briefly. Got kind of a newer lure here, the two stat. That's our top water walking bait right there, and this is a crazy little color. This is ghost shad. Look how sick that color is yeah, right it's there. Nice. We totally redesigned our walking bait, and now we have this, and it is freaking awesome. Got bangers, the square bill right there. Of course, need tons of those. There's gonna be a lot of different colors and stuff in here too. So if I see a specific color that I like or something that's new you guys haven't seen before, I'll make sure to bring it up. There's gonna be a ton of clutches in this box, our lipless crankbait. This is one of my favorite lures of all time. And that color right there is actually a low key, really nice color in cold months leading into the spring as well. There's so many things, Andrew. This is gonna, this There's is just crazy. I'm literally like picking up a different thing every time I reach in here. We got blazing worms right there, specifically my new favorite color, that green pumpkin purple right there. Love getting some purple on my worm. You gotta pull this out to really see that purple. Dude, look at that right there. Look at that little line right there with the green, the green pumpkin meets the purple. Yeah, that's nice. That black fleck in there, that is just a killer color. And if you don't believe me, try it out yourself. Or just keep watching a little bit longer. Got Slim Shake Worms. Looks like that's the exact same color right there. That little finesse worm that we make, guys, that is the best finesse worm out there. Just saying, not trying to make anybody mad. Don't come for me, I'm just saying. Lunker logs, of course, the stick bay. Dude, that's green pumpkin purple too. Dude. Yeah, you can tell I got a little crazy when I uh, when I got on the website and started ordering stuff. I was just like, oh, I like that color, boop. I like that color, boop. Add, 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 add to the cart. They're all good colors, you know, that's the thing. That's true. Sifting through this first layer of soft plastics here. Got some cracking craws, of course. You gotta have that crawfish imitation. Whether you're Texas rigging it or whether you're putting it on the back of a jig, you gotta have that thing, man. Look how juicy that guy is right there. Yeah, that's nice. He is juiced up. His little claws are just ready to go. Swimming through the water. Plenty of saucy swimmers. I got multiple sizes too. This has the 3.8, which is just like perfect for anything. And there should be some bigger ones in here. I'm sure we'll run across those. Dude, we haven't even like gotten three inches no. in the box. I mean, this seems like a dump type situation, but I really don't want it to come to that. Yeah, then you have to clean it all up. Yeah, exactly. Okay, now we're finding some more stuff. Just hold on. Got some zingers and some bumpers. The Colorado blade and the willow blade spinner baits right here. Got all different kinds of colors, different sizes. Bandito bugs, how could I forget? The best soft plastic ever made, according to some people. 
The bug is the drug is what they say. Got some scouts, which are the jerk baits, of course. Got all different kinds of colors in them. Got the buzz baits, you guys already know. I'm not gonna go on GuggenSquad.com and not get a buzz bait. We got a ton of grande bangers to go along with the regular bangers. So you can see the size difference there between the original and the grande. I love that grande. I mean, I'm always going for that big bite. So it makes sense to me to throw something a little bit bigger. We got tons of filthy frogs in the mix and we got both the normal top and the popping one, like the walking frog and the popping frog. But I like them both for different situations. So got a bunch of froggies. I think you guys are getting the picture here. We literally have one of everything. Oh, this is a color that I really wanted to highlight. Okay, so this color right here is called Cosmo Shad. You can see there's almost like some chartreuse and some purple on the back. So we filmed the Guggen Week in Texas recently. Myself, John B, Lake Fork Guy, and Lunkers TV. And I'm not gonna spoil too much about the series itself, but the biggest fish of the trip, which may or may not have been caught by me, was on a crankbait this color. I mean, just look at that purple, look at the chartreuse. It's just one of those kind of wacky colors that you might not think about throwing. But guys, I'm telling you, that thing right there is my new favorite color for 2024. You're gonna see me throwing that color in every crankbait that we make quite a bit. We also make a flat version of that same banger that we were looking at earlier. And size-wise, it's somewhere between the regular version and the grande, but it's got that flat side. It's got a completely different wobble to it. I was throwing that a lot in Texas. I love that flat banger. Plenty of grande recons, which is the deep divers, obviously. These jokers will get down there to 20 feet. And this time of year, that's a helpful lure to have. This is another one of my absolute favorite hard bait colors. This one's called Shotgun Shad. And just look at that. We've got the gray on the top, the shad pattern on the side, with the little chartreuse on the underside. But look at that little, those little dots right there, the little reflective fish scales almost. They just put off so much flash. Love that color. That one and the Cosmo Shad are probably my two favorite colors right now with regard to our crankbaits. I mean, you're gonna see a lot of those colors in this box because when I ordered them, I got a lot of the colors that I like. There's a mini revolver right there. The revolver, of course, is our plopper topwater lure, but I prefer the mini versus the normal one. So I don't even think I ordered any normal ones. I like that mini, it just has a little bit of a better action to me. I feel like it's easier for the fish to eat it. I got all kinds of line here, mainly, oh Lord, mainly fluorocarbon and braid, which is what I use nine times out of 10. There's also some monofilament in here. And I use all different ranging sizes, guys. A lot of you guys ask, you know, what size line do you use? Well, it depends on what you're doing, but anywhere from eight pounds all the way up to 25 pounds, just literally depending on what you're doing. With braid though, I normally only do 50 pound and 65 pound. I even grabbed a couple big old rivals, the seven inch swim baits. You never know when you're gonna have to pull out a big swim bait and try to catch that double digit. Here we go, another new product that I completely forgot about. The Shad Wagon, folks. You guys know we love Alabama rigs or umbrella rigs, wherever you call it. We love them on this channel. Finally, Guggen, we made our own. Bing! Look at that thing, it's ready to go. And I mean, you are just ready to catch them. It's so cool that we finally were able to develop this umbrella rig. Cannot wait to be throwing this this year and actually really soon because this is the time of year to be throwing A-rigs. Okay, I think I've had enough of this box for now. I've literally pulled out 25 different things. I'm ready to open a different box. Let's open something different for a minute. We just opened a ton of tackle. Let's open some of these rods up because talk about stuff that I forgot. I ordered a lot of rods. I'm not even really sure what kinds. Eyeball gone. There's got to be a better way to do that. <laughs> oh. Oh, we got multiples. Okay. Did you pull? Yep, I can pull. Pull, pull, pull. Yes, here we go. Teamwork. Got a Guggen Black rod right here. These are the high level rods. This one right here is a spinning rod, as you can see. It's a little 610. It's a finesse. This one's got an extension on it. Look at that. Huh. Look at that ingenuity right there. I on, like that. On the end. Bunch of rods in there. Holy There's a bunch Lord. of them. Gosh, look at that. Oh. Oh, here we go. It's so close. Oh. I am sweating right now. Yeah, you are, dude. Jesus. Oh yeah, so that's what that was. This is a muscle XL right here, which is why I'm touching the roof with it, even yeah. though I'm standing on right here. It's almost an eight foot rod. It's a seven foot nine, medium, moderate, fast. 
So hence the name Muscle XL. So this is kind of a Alabama rig stick right here, a flipping stick in some situations, but super heavy duty muscle run. Here's just your regular muscle right here, which is your more everyday type muscle rod. It's a seven foot six, heavy backbone, fast action. That's a hell of a frog and stick right there. This is one I've literally never even seen before. I just realized what this was. We started making with the Black Series, the reaction glass rod, super sensitive. This one's a reaction heavy glass. So this is a seven foot six, medium heavy, moderate fast. So this is like the first time that I've ever seen one of these. Yeah, I haven't seen that, that's new. So heavy cranking, like deep cranking with a deeper crankbait, or maybe even like a, a spinnerbait or something, you know, through some grass. That heavy, it's got more backbone than a typical reaction, but it's still glass, so you still got all the sensitivity, you still got all the tip that you want. That is a badass fishing rod right there. Oh, here we go, okay. So one of the things I mentioned when we first did this boat reveal is that we're gonna be doing some more inshore type stuff potentially, but this is a little go-to gold spinning rod right here. So this is a seven foot two medium heavy fast action spinning rod. So a lot more backbone than your finesse spinning rods have. So I got a bunch of these for the sole purpose of inshore fishing. So that's like reds, snook, maybe even a tarpon, like a smaller tarpon, not a huge tarpon, but a tarpon potentially. Dude, how many rods is that already? I think that was six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven rods. Seven. Already, and we still have four more tubes. Dude. Guys, I'm telling you, this is the biggest fishing unboxing I have ever done. It's not even close. If you were to put a dollar amount on it, I'm not exactly sure, but it was probably over like 10 or 12,000. <laughs> I mean, it just an insane amount, I know but that's just how much fishing I plan on doing this year and just how much different types of fishing I plan on doing. Oh, I think we were right. I'm seeing some new Guggen reels, baby. Some spinning reels to go along with some of these spinning rods that I was just talking about. This one right here is the 2500, which is kind of pretty much what I use. The 1000 series are pretty small. That would be for like a crappy rig or for like a bluegill rig for me. If I'm doing anything bass or more, I want that 2500 right there. There we go, baby, fresh out of the box. These Guggen reels, these spinning reels, they have been such a pleasant surprise. They've been awesome. They have held up to everything I've put them to. They look great, they're affordable, especially these green ones. Could not recommend these things enough. We got Guggen reels. We know we got probably a few of those. What's that? Oh, that's a secret. Oh, that's a secret. We got some new boat scissors too. Hell yeah. Always need those. There's another Guggen reel right there. Got a couple of the greens. I think I got a couple golds as well. Of course, I had to get a multi-tool kit because, I mean, this little kit's just nifty. If you're hopping in a boat, I mean, that's pretty much all you need right there. What is this? Oh, this might be, I think I know what this I is. I think I know what it is too. Oh, I think it is. Oh, shoot. Dude, that looks so mean right there. That looks good, That dude. looks so mean. Now this thing is officially the Guggen Green Goblin. I mean, a little Guggen Squad right there on the side. It looks perfect with the ALK2 Power Boats logo right there. Hot dang, boy, this boat's ready. Ready for this one, dude? Oh, yeah. This one's about to be... Oh, yes, sir. Those colors don't run. No, they don't. She's official now. Definitely not gonna go through all these clothing items. I mean, it's just a bunch of different performance gear. The pants, which I actually love, the Guggen pants. I will pull those out because that's kind of a newer thing. We've only had those for like a year. That's what I'm wearing right now. Exactly, so you know. I mean, this quick drying material, you can hear it. Like that material, it's just the perfect combination of stretchy, like the whole pant is stretchy, which I love as a big boy. It's got the back pockets, which I gotta have on pants that I wear. It's got that flexible waistband right there. And it's just quick drying, it's, it's perfect. It's the perfect pan, I have to say we nailed it with this product. Got this color in gray, so you're covered either way. And my favorite part is the zipper pocket too right here. You can put your keys in there the and not have to worry about it. On a boat? Perfect. That's crucial. Yep. Okay, let's go back to a big box here. Let's go back to a big box because... Uh, oh, Ooh, how heavy is that one? Uh, 33, 33 pounds. Holy moly. Dude, what all did you order? Jesus, apparently too much. I think I ordered the whole store. Uh, apparently. Wow, yeah. We got some more stuff. Already I'm seeing a ton of the, some of the same stuff 
in here. But this box looks like the one that has all my jigs in it. So I re up on a ton of new jigs. This right here is the Juicy Jig, which is my all time favorite jig that we make. And I'll show you exactly why. This is actually my favorite color and size too. Like it's just my favorite jig of all time. But the reason why the Juicy Jig is my favorite, notice the little flat spot on the jig head right there. If you guys can see it, there's a little bit of a flat spot. So that way when this jig falls and hits the bottom, it stands up on that little flat spot right there. And then you have your soft plastic, like a bandito bug or whatever on the back of it. And it's just sitting there like dangling upwards. I love that presentation and that 3 8 ounce just seems to be perfect. Also, why did it take the fishing industry so long to put the size of the jig on the head? Seriously. Like that just seems like such an obvious thing that you should do. But I have to say, I, we were the first people doing that on jigs that I know of. Somebody else may have done it before, but that right there should be the standard in the industry if you ask me. I'm not a good enough fisherman to look at like <laughs> eight jigs all next to each other nope. and know which one's a quarter ounce versus a 3 16 versus a uh, versus a 3 8 I mean, you know, it's like, Come on, just put it on the head for me. Make it easy for me. Got some more tungsten. These are the actual like worm weights right here. Got an absolute ton of those just so we can fill up terminal tackle box after terminal tackle box. We never have to search the cup holders for tungstens again. Nope. Here we go, here's something new. Got the trench hog, of course. The creature bait, one of the original creature baits that we made. Love that thing right there. That was my favorite before the slizzard was made, but I'm hoping the slizzard will be Maybe in here. Dude, just look at how many hard baits. <laughs> yeah, dude. Just like layers. Look, just layers of hard baits. I mean, we are gonna be set for a long, long, long time. Got some shaky heads right here. Love the little shaky head. Same thing with the size being on the shaky head. It's like, come on, that's obvious. Thank you. A ton more line, more swim baits. Kind of a cool color for the rivals right there. I like that little color. I should have a lot more jig. That's what I'm looking for. This is gonna take so long. Dude, organizing this. this is going to be the worst. When you're when you're adding stuff to a cart, you're not really <laughs> no. thinking about that, that back end. Grass Hero Swim Jig, so a slightly different jig right there. Obviously meant to go through grass and other stuff, meant to be swam, so that's why the head on this one's so much thinner. Love that design. I found a thick jig right here. Now the thick jig is awesome, and it's made for flipping into heavy cover, so it's great for what it does, but, let me just show you guys next to the Juicy. So you can see the thick. It's got that much bigger head to it right there, right? No flat spot. So you can see that Juicy one right there. It's got that flat spot. And the head's just shaped a little bit differently. This one's just made for that heavy-duty cover, dinging around, knocking off rocks and stuff. So, there, you know, it's slight difference, but it makes a difference. There's another flat banger color that I love right there. Which one? That's the Corn Pop Crawl, which is such a weird name, okay. but uh, that's, uh, I don't know, I really like that one right now. I'm into some weird colors, if you couldn't tell. Like, I don't just want the regular white, you know? I just want, I want Shotgun Shad. I don't want Chartreuse, I want Cosmo Shad. I don't want regular red, I want red. <laughs> yeah, that's the flaming Hot right there, so that's a newer color, but I love that deep, deep, deep red in the springtime, which is coming up on a lipless crankbait. This thing's gonna be getting tossed around quite a bit. There's some light line for all you Midwesterners out there, you Northern anglers. I do plan on using some light line for certain applications. This is 10 pound. This is about as low as I go. I am outside my comfort zone once I get below 10 pound line. We've still got a box and we've still got more rods. This is crazy. I couldn't even get like a quarter of the way through this box. I mean, it's just, I don't want to bore you guys to death. It's a lot of the same lures, just different colors. Let's do this last box really quickly, and then let's quickly go through the rods here. Oh, here we go. We've made it to some more fun stuff. Oh, yeah. Now, there we go, the gold spinning reels. There we go. That's going to be used quite a bit. I already mentioned the spinning gear and what we're going to be using this type of stuff for this year. And of course we're going to be using a ton of bait casting gear too. I'm not saying we're going to get rid of that ever. But I need some more spinning gear for some of the stuff that this boat can do. Look at that right there, man. That is a pretty nice. fishing reel. That's a smooth operating fishing reel. It's literally one of the smoothest reels I've ever operated. I mean, a spinning reel, it is just, look at the action on that dude. I mean, you just, that thing is so dang smooth. Yeah, it is. Looks like we got a bunch of tools in here. I went ahead and grabbed a couple of those nice pairs of the aluminum. Nice pliers right there. I love those pliers. I got a few of those. You can never have too many tools in your boat. 
Here we go. Here's some really cool little nifty tackle boxes. Now these little jokers are perfect little pocket boxes almost. Like you could put a couple lures, a little bit of terminal, you know, and or you could have a bunch of really small crankbaits or just, you know, whatever. These are cool little boxes to have. Looks like we're dealing with a lot of the same stuff here, spinner baits. Here we go, here's a blooper. I haven't seen one of those yet. A couple little top water poppers. I've kind of moved away from fishing with the popper as much. I don't know. Yeah, same. I like to be more active with my top water. You know, I like to either be walking something or have a frog that I can like throw in some, you know, thick grass or something. But the popper, you know, it, it has its uses, but got some nuke punches, which is a nice little trailer to use on any type of a punching rig or a flipping rig, like a thick jig, because it has no appendages on the side. It's just got body and claws, so it's like a chunk trailer almost, but better. There's something we hadn't seen before. Some Ned rigs as well, some little rattling Neds. That one's called Canada Crawl, but you know, I'm not a huge drop shot, wacky rig, Ned rig guy all the time, but I do understand that those techniques have their place in bass fishing, and they work. Make no mistake about it. But we might travel somewhere this year where that's like the strategy, so I'm ready to go at all times. I love all the flaming hot stuff. Yeah. I just love that fluorescent orange red. It's so obnoxious, but I just love it. Yeah, it's wild. Time. Holy moly. Wow, okay. We're getting through this one step at a time, folks. Now, it's like some tubes have one rod in them and Dude. some have 12. That don't make no sense. I'm having a hard time understanding this. All that for a twitch rod. <laughs> Little six foot nine, medium, moderate, Guggen Gold rod right there, that's the twitch. There we go, there's some rods in that one. See, those just came right out. Oh, this is all my Guggen Green orders right here. You guys thought I was gonna abandon the Guggen Green rods? Was not gonna forget about my old green friends. This is what I started with, and I'm gonna have these on my boat forever. Got two specific green rods that I really like. First of all, the go-to, and it's hard to argue with the go-to because it is like the most versatile rod that we make. It's like a seven foot two, medium, heavy, fast action. Literally can fish 95% of fishing techniques with this rod. And if you need a little bit more beef, the green muscle is my absolute favorite Guggen rod. You guys heard that right. I have boat flipped so many big fish using this rod and they wouldn't break. Couldn't break them. Seven foot five, I think, heavy backbone, fast action. Just an awesome, awesome rod. And these were some of the original rods that we developed. So that's just what makes it even cooler. The rod pile is getting pretty ridiculous. Yes, it is. Look at that. I mean, that's just, that's a lot. I mentioned that reaction heavy glass rod earlier. This is the original reaction glass right here. This is a seven foot three medium heavy moderate action. And it is just one of the most sensitive rods we've ever made. This would be right up there with that Guggen Green Muscle Rod as being like my favorite. This is my favorite rod we've developed within the last year or two. The Muscle Green is my original OG favorite rod. Okay, holy moly, that was a lot. I did not even realize I ordered this much stuff. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I wanna grab a few of the lures that we just unboxed. I wanna grab a couple of the rods that we just unboxed, throw a few combos together really quickly, run down to the backyard pond where the water temps have gotten down into the high 50s now and put a couple of these techniques to use. See if we can pull a big old bass out of the backyard pond. See you down there. If you guys are still watching and you want the giveaway information, here it is. I'm going to be giving away like a random amount of stuff. I'm gonna fill up one of these tackle boxes. This is kind of what I like to do, is take a tackle box and just fill it full of crankbaits, plastic wire baits, just make you like a custom Lojo tackle box. So if you want to win a loaded tackle box from me filled with all the Guggen stuff we just looked at, all you have to do is hit the thumbs up button on this video and make sure you subscribe to the channel with the bell notifications enabled. There's like 60% of you guys watching right now who are not subscribed because YouTube will unsubscribe people after a certain amount of time. So make sure you guys are subscribed. That's all you have to do. I'll announce the winner of the loaded Guggen Squad tackle box in the next video. I'll put it down in the description and I'll put a comment down in the comment section. Now let's go fishing. Went ahead and rigged up three different little combos right here. Took that reaction glass rod, and went ahead and put a little Cosmo Shad crank on there since I told you guys I loved it so much. Also, you might notice that brand new fishing reel. This was one of the four reels I bought in Texas for that little trip. Went ahead and took a spinning combo and put a little jerky jerk on there. That should slay in this water temp. And we got a little Texas rig, Slim Shake Worm, on a go-to green. Look how new that rod is right there. That thing is brand new first we gotta throw the cosmo shad i bragged about it you did. we gotta throw this thing yeah that little banger is just churning up on the bottom 
dives like three to five feet. Great for knocking off the bottom. Oh wow, there's a bunch of fish right there. What is that? Oh wow. That's like a school of brim or something. We're on. We're on. That's a nice bass. He came off. Dang. That was a nice bass, too. Yeah, it was. I was sitting there looking at the school of brim or whatever that was and got cranked by like a two or three pound largemouth. Hey, that's the color, though. I mean, it does get bit. Love, love, love that color. Check it out with some actual sunlight. That's what it looks like in real time right there in the sun. It's just a really unique color. I'm obsessed with it, if you couldn't tell. Oh, Whoa, dude. what we got here? Is this dead body or is this bag of dirt off of a random boat? What do we have? What is that, man? Is that a pillow? Like a waterlogged pillow? What in the world? That's a pillow. That is a waterlogged, it weighs like 50 pounds. <laughs> it looks like it. God. Wow. We truly are going to be dealing with these boats being in the pond forever. That is the most random thing I think I've pulled out of this pond in a long time. Oh, God. That thing's been sitting here for like a year. Mm -hmm. A literal year underwater. Okay, gross. Well, we've lost a bass already. And we caught a year old waterlogged pillow. Fantastic. Fishing spot, ain't it? bomb one out here hit some of that deeper water well I know what to do I know what to do when you got fickle fish like this like I think they're there I think they're looking at the crankbait just don't know if they want to commit but I know how to get them to I got a little secret for him right here. The old jerk bait that will convince even the most stubborn cold bass to bite. I chose this really cool color. That's that blue back and then it almost has like a translucent side to it. I'm a real big fan of that color in particular. Now right out here, got some pretty deep water. So I know there's some fish down there. So let's get this thing down in the water and start whipping her around. Okay, well, the only thing I haven't tried yet is the old Texas rig slim shake. You hate to resort to a Texas rig so soon in a fishing adventure, but you know, you do what you got to do. It's obvious that there's no. Oh, wow. That was quick. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I mean, first cast, I hadn't even like worked it yet. Look at this. Look at this fella. Don't. He's thinking about it. Yeah, he was waiting for me. Boom, there you go. Dude, he, well, I just popped it out of his mouth, but he had that thing deep in his mouth. He munched that thing right away. All I felt was just a single boonk, and he was just swimming away with it. Little guy, not the size average we want out here, but uh, we appreciate the bite, little fella. I think that was a testament to the effectiveness of a Slim Shake worm. I mean, the Lunker Log's great, the Mondo Worm's great, the Blazing Worm's great, the Slizzard is great, the Saucy. I mean, I could name a bunch of Guggen baits, obviously, that I love, but the Slim Shake Worm, especially the original design, this thinner one, not the big one. The big one's fine, but this finesse style worm, it's just perfect. I love it. It's probably caught me like the most fish of any singular Guggen bait. I want to get back to power fishing. I'm not ready to drag a worm yet. 
That's for when it's like brutally cold and there's just nothing else to do. You drag a worm. But I mean, today is a nice day. All right, Mr. Cosmo. Stop making me look like an idiot. Can't believe you, Cosmo Shad. You let me down, man. Gonna have to make it up to me another time. We're on, baby. We are on. Is he any good? Oh no, he's a squeak. And he's hooked in the side of the face. Oh, squeaker. Oh, I'm so glad he didn't thrash right there. Jeez, I grabbed the treble hook and it like went in my finger a little bit. If he had thrashed right there, my first time getting hooked past the bar was about to happen. This is another little coal bass for us. These are the size we're trying to get out of here, but man, he swiped hard at that blue back jerk bait right there. I told you guys, it's a great bait when the water temps start getting down. Well, we're gonna have to get rid of this guy off camera, but it's, wow, he tried to slap you, yeah, he bro. He got water all over my <laughs> face. the camera. <laughs> all right, folks, that was a ton of fun doing that massive unboxing, the biggest unboxing ever on this channel, and then coming down here, ripping some lips, putting some of these rods and lures to the test. Like I said earlier, if you guys wanna see a video where we organize that entire fishing man cave and just get it completely put together, let me know in the comment section, hit that thumbs up button. Also, the giveaway information was a little while back, so if you missed that, all you have to do is smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel and you're in the giveaway. Tons more content coming this winter, a bunch of hunting content and some more fishing content. We're going to keep a little bit of both going. Thank you guys as always for watching. I will see you next time.